My name is Marsha Thomason and I play Diana. <laughs> Who is Diana indeed? Diana is um, Hitman's um, only true uh, human contact. Like they, they've uh, known each other an extremely long time and she is um, what Q is to James Bond in the Hitman world. So she um, sets the assignments, you know, tells him where to go, who to kill, that kind of thing. I thought it was going to be very restricting to have the camera in front of my face, but it's amazing how quickly you get used to it. And there's something actually very freeing about it because, you know, there is no set really, you know, we're, we're just on uh, wooden apple boxes or whatever. And you really kind of have the freedom to just try anything, to just see what happens, you know. And um, Jamie, our director, one of his notes was, you know, just amp it up just a smidge from reality. So you get to do that, which is really fun. I had a little look at the monitors. It was bit, I kept doing this and watching the monitor doing what I was doing, which was really fun. Um, but for the most part, I just played the scenes. I don't want to get too into all of that. But it's fascinating that I'm in this suit, you know, moving around and there is kind of a, a mock me. It's great. Money, money, money! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I actually was making a joke because um, the show I've been doing the last couple of years, White Collar, my character on that is named Diana. So I took it because I'm really just playing Dianas for the next five years, is kind of the thing. But no, I was aware of the Hitman series. Um, I love video games. I like to play Grand Theft Auto, uh, Little Big Planet, Mario. So it was fun. Like, I, I'm going to have such a good time actually getting to play a game that I'm involved with. So I was aware of the brand and I knew that it was a pretty prestigious project. Yeah, um, when I arrived this morning, I don't know, I think I was kind of open. I knew it was going to be very different and otherworldly. But I had a scene today um, in a bathroom with a shower. And there's a shower curtain and I, and whatever, I have to interact with the shower curtain. And I wondered, will there really be a shower curtain? I thought at least I would get that. But no, it's, you know, it's all make-believe. The shower curtain is in front of you. It's really like, it's, it takes it really back to basics. Like being in my bedroom at home, making theater. You know what really impressed me um, with, well, first of all, I was impressed to receive a script like a full script for a video game. And I just, the, the, the level, the standard um, of what they're producing, of what they've written, it really is impressive and, and a medium that, you know, I think a lot of people are snobbish about gamers and gaming and, and the quality, it's mindless violence. Well, I disagree because I really think there's true artistry involved in what they do, uh, both on the animation side and in the writing. I was really, really impressed. I'm really looking forward to playing it. I've always wanted to be a redhead, so this works out really well. 